Good morning, girls and boys. I uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. And uh, I know yesterday was kind of a yucky day with the wind and the rain. But today, as you can see, it's looking beautiful out there. So um, once you get your work done or maybe take a break from your work for a little while and get out and enjoy that beautiful day. Okay, so today we're going to start a new topic in math because you guys seem to have those fractions down. We will be reviewing those fractions from time to time, so don't forget them. All right, so today we're going to talk about line plots. Now, line plots are kind of fun because, you know, they're, really, they're not really that hard, but they're, they're fun and you can put a lot of data on them. So, and I think we did some of these over the course of the year. So as you can see, line plots, a way to display data along a number line where each dot represents one number in a set of data. So it's, it's a way to represent data on a number line, basically. Okay, so we'll leave that there so you'll remember what a line plot is. So I went to school yesterday to get this bigger whiteboard because those little whiteboards are kind of driving me crazy. So as you can see, I had to put it on my windowsill to kind of so it wouldn't fall because the easel wouldn't hold it up with the weight. So here I have a line plot, and it's the lengths of fish caught. You know, it's almost time for fishing, so, so I thought I'd do uh, something about fish. So the lengths of fish caught is the title of my data, uh, my line plot, and then um, it's measured in inches. Okay, so you want to make sure you have those two pieces of information when you're doing a line plot. What it is the line plot is about, in this case, the number, the length of the fish cut, and uh, the dots stand for inches, or the, the numbers stand for inches. Okay, so here I have my line plot, and uh, I'm starting with six because the lengths of the fish go between six and eight and two fourths. So I'm going to read you a quick little um, word problem, see if we can figure out answer to it. Okay, so Emily went fishing. She plotted the lengths of 12 fish caught on the line plot, which I've shown you. What was the length of the longest fish caught? So if you're looking at it, the lengths of the longest fish would be right over there, eight and two fourths. And then what was the length of the shortest fish caught? Well, the shortest fish would be here. And how do we know we've represented 12 fish? Well, when you've got all your dots put up there, if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we've represented all 12 of our fish. Okay, so we're also going to learn um, about another word, and it's called the outlier. And I'm going to show you that on the next um, line plot. So over here, I've got it all ready for us. So on the shorter piece of paper, I have the distance walked in miles. And I have the data here. And each day of the week is represented by the number of miles that are walked. So Sunday, I walked one mile. Monday, a half mile. Tuesday was a good day because I walked one and a half miles. Wednesday back to one, Thursday one and a half, Friday three miles, and then Saturday is back to one. So what I want to do now is take this data and put it into a line plot. So here I have my line plot. I've drawn it so that we don't have to take time drawing it on the video. Okay, so now I need So what I can do is I have to remember that it, the distance is in miles. So on my line plot, I've got it uh, written as miles down here. And I have my title for the line plot is distance walked. All right. So now I have to plot out the distances. So um, Sunday was one. So I can put one dot above the one mile. And then Monday was a half mile. So Monday's going to be right here. Tuesday was one and a half. So here's representing Tuesday. 
Wednesday was one, so now I'm going to put another dot above one because I have another day where I walked one. I walked on Sunday and Wednesday one mile. Thursday I walked one and a half, so now I've got another one and a half. Friday I walked three. And then Saturday one. So when I'm done, I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so every day has been represented by a dot. So if I look at this and I say, um, hmm, if I say um, the longest distance, what would the longest distance be that I walked? Well, of course, we know that is three. And what is the shortest distance walked is a half, okay? So um, if I say the dot above the three is far away from these other dots, it, it really kind of jumps way over here. So we have a special name for that dot. And that dot is called the outlier. It means any number on the number line that is very different from the rest of the numbers. And three would be different because the other numbers are between uh, between half and one and a half, as you can see. And then three is kind of all over there all by itself. So we call that number the outlier. Kind of, um, you know, a number that's all by itself and away from all of the other numbers. So that's what outlier means. And we'll talk about that again. Um, okay, so remember that word outlier. Okay, so now we're going to do another one, because you're going to be doing some of these for homework. So I want to make sure you understand. All right, so now we're going to talk about giraffes. So here is my number line for giraffes. Okay, and I haven't filled it in yet, because we're going to fill it in together. So I have... And these giraffes, it's all about the giraffe heights, and we're, we don't want to measure giraffes in inches because, you know, giraffes are really tall. So we're going to measure them in feet. We wouldn't want to measure them in miles because that might be a little too long, too. So, I mean, you probably could measure them in yards, but we're going to choose feet for today. So we have two giraffes that are 14 feet tall. So here are my two dots. And we have three giraffes that are 15 feet tall. And we have two giraffes that are 16, there are a lot of giraffes, 16 feet. And then there are two giraffes that are 18 feet. Okay, so if I asked you, how many giraffes are 14 feet tall? Well, here's the 14 mark, 14 feet. And as you can see, we have two giraffes. Uh, what is the most common height of the giraffes? The most common height. What would you think that would be? So it would have to be um, the number with the most dots. That would be the most common. So that would have to be 15 because there are three giraffes that are 15 feet. How tall is the tallest giraffe? Hmm. Well, the tallest giraffe would have to be 18 feet tall. And then my next question is, is 18 feet an outlier? So remember, what does outlier mean? Any number on the number line that is very different from the rest of the numbers. So here we have 14, 15, 16, and then we jump to 18. So do you think 18 feet would be an outlier? I think so. So that is the outlier. All right. So that, that gives you some idea as to what line plots are. And remember that a line plot is a way to display data uh, along a number line where each dot represents one number in the set of data. So as you can see, uh, one giraffe is 14 feet tall. 
and then if we add another one, two giraffes are 14 feet tall. So each dot on the number line represents the represents a number of the troughs. Okay, and as you remember, an outlier is any number on the number line that is very different from the rest of the numbers. Okay, so if you go on your Google Classroom and you will find a math uh, book, a math page from our math book that uh, you are going to do today. And I believe I put 1 through 11, just the odds. Now, of course, if you want to do more or you have time and you want to take a little challenge and you want to do all 1 through 11, then absolutely that would be fine. All right, so good luck. If you need to come back and, and look at the uh, video again, then by all means do that. All right, so you have a great day. Get out and enjoy some of that sunshine. All right. died on me so all right there you go all right have a great day good luck everyone